old one is out, we could toss these. So now let's move on to installing the energy performance polyurethane suspension. All right, so we're in front of the sway bar, which is a little sketchy because once I remove these brackets, the sway bar might drop down. Luckily, it's not that heavy, but we just need to remove four bolts, two off each side, and then remove the rubber bushing that's there to replace it with the polyurethane one, which is gonna stiffen this um, stock bar a little more to give you a more performance upgrade for the front. Um, with that being said, I did remove the passenger side one. Luckily, it's not seized. That's what I wanted to check out before I started the video. Uh, the bracket is removed, which I have right here in front of me. We're just going to do the same thing to the right side now. I use my impact gun, which is pretty easy. And we'll see what we got here for this side. This one looks a little more rusty, so let's hope. I'm going to take it easy because this impact gun is pretty strong. Okay, that one is loose. All right, that one's out. Let's put that here with the rest of the bolts. So we're gonna need these. And the, bracket, the sway bar might just come down. Let's see here. I'm gonna hold it with my shoulder here. Yeah, it is coming down. Bracket is out, and sway bar is gonna be leaning on my chest here. Or which is okay. Let me just clean this bracket here. Sway bar is not heavy at all. All right, let's get these guys swapped out here. So I just want to make sure that the position stays correct. So when it mounted back up, it mounts properly. Just like that. Okay. Let's put one and then the other one. I'm going to put the crease inside the polyurethane bushings here. So let's rip this guy off. So I can't use all of it because I'm going to need for the rear, which I don't have. I'm just going to use a little bit on both sides. You need to put inside of the polyurethane thing, and I recommend to put outside to make sure there is no noise. Okay, let's take off these guys here and put this one on there. Should just fit on like that. Yep. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side here. Put some inside. We're just gonna install the passenger side bushing. And we're just gonna put it there. Yep. And it should just go on properly. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see. Yep, that's where it should go, right there. I'm gonna put some anti-seize on this right quick because I don't want it to seize up on me if I ever have to remove it. Baby, I'm calling for you. 
I'll show you in just a sec. Wishing number one installed. And pushing number two also installed. So this is done. All right. So we're in the rear of the vehicle. I have removed the passenger side sway bar link, but off off the car only, not off the sway bar. You don't need it since we're removing the full sway bar. And like I said earlier, I had both front and rear sway bars from um, IBAC. Um, now I'm gonna try just the rear upgrade with the um, polyurethane uh, from bushings for the front and new sway bar links on the front with the stock sway bar. Um, I would have kept the IBAC rear um, sway bar, but nobody wants to buy the front alone. So I had to sell it as a combo. So now I have the medium racing, which is the same 19 millimeter diameter, which I'll show you once I remove this stock one and um, the difference of size. And we're gonna uh, install it with the polyurethane bushing that Megan Racing brings. So now the only thing that I have to take off is the uh, nut that's holding the sway bar link to the uh, suspension. And we're gonna remove the um, bracket that's holding the sway bar bushing and sway bar to the uh, chassis of the car. So let's start with the sway bar link here. Very similar, if it doesn't come out, we're gonna give it some torch. If it's all good, it should just um, remove that nut there with the Allen key and the um, 14 millimeter. Closing the wrench like I showed you in the driver's side. Um, let's get that set up. Should be pretty quick. I'm gonna give it some heat anyways, so it'd be much easier. So, sway bar link is off from the bottom. Now we just gotta remove the sway bar bracket and bushing. And the sway bar should drop down after that. Let's see here. Is this is a 14 millimeter. For the top here, let's see. With the gas tank in the way, this one is the more difficult side to work on. Hello. 
and we have this stock sway bar out. Nice. So the rear sway bar is removed from the car. I have it aligned right now with the Megan Racing uh, sway bar. Uh, as you can see from the video, um, the stock sway bar is much thinner at 17 millimeter and the Megan Racing is at 19 millimeter in thickness. So as you can see, this is much thicker than this right here. Um, we are going to install the uh, sway bar links um, while the sway bar is removed from the car. One thing that I do have to apologize is to Megan Racing. Um, I didn't read the instruction when I created the intro part of the video, but in the instruction, it does say right here, stabilizing bushings are self-lubrication, do not apply grease. So I'll put it a little closer. You can see it, you can see it not, but whatever, that's what it says there. Um, so I'm a person that likes to read the instructions before I go ahead and complete the installation of any part that I have on the car, just in case something like this is missed. So these bushings are self-lubricated. I'm not sure how that works. I'm gonna install it with the way that Megan Racing said to install it without applying the grease. And um, if I hear any squeaking or noises, I'll just remove it and apply some grease myself. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out, as you can see, we're keeping the sway bar um, links on the stock one. So you can see how easy it is to remove that way. You don't have to remove the um, uh, sway bar links from the rear if you're removing the whole sway bar. The other thing that I wanted to point out, if you could see this, the hole for the sway bar links is towards the top here, meaning that this one here in the top is the soft setting. The one closer to the bar down here, so the top is soft setting, the one closer to the bar down here is the stiffer setting. This is where we're going to install the sway bar links because the original sway bar that I wanted to purchase was the blocks one, and that one is 21 millimeters. So that's a big jump from 17 to 21. From 17 to 19, it's a um, decent jump. You're gonna feel the um, rotation of the car from a 17 to 19. Um, and also the car is gonna be stable when um, swerving left to right. We're gonna put in the stiffer se settings to see if it um, at least gives me that full enhance of that 19 millimeter. Uh, since I was going for 21 anyways, Stiffer is much better um, in that aspect. So we're gonna enter it in this hole here. I do wanna place some uh, anti-seize, so that way it's easier for me to remove and adjust if I ever wanted to in the future. So we're gonna do that. And the same way that we installed the um, front side of the sway bar links is we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to put the the Allen key number five and the 16 millimeter because the hardware that the Megan Racing comes with is much larger than the stock, which is 14. So we're just going to tighten this up here. Let's turn this around. It's much easier to tighten it up here uh, then versus the car. So it's better to just get this set up now while we're here. Okay, so we'll just leave it like that. And we'll do the we'll do the right side here also. So we'll snug it up just for now. And now we're just gonna go under the car and put the bushings here. So let's align the bushings to where they need to go. I'm just gonna zoom out. So we're just gonna apply the bushings where the stock ones are. So they're more towards the end of the sway bar link. I mean, sorry, the sway bar. So it goes there. And it goes 
here. Self-lubricated, like they said. Take these guys off, these brackets. Put it on here. Looks like it's a tight fit. I hope it fits properly. When it's on there. Maybe the 17 was the right route to go. I'm sorry, maybe the 19 millimeter was the right route to go since these brackets are small. And I'm sure they're gonna give me trouble with the installation back on the car. Um, yeah, I can already see they are. Yep, I can already see they are. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's get let's get it back in the car, and see if these um, bolts are large enough to grab onto the threads of the chassis. So I'll see you back under the car. All right. So we're back under the car. Let's align this properly here. Maybe I'm calling for you and I'm stuck in the loop. So the sway bar is installed back onto the chassis. I just have to um, fasten the sway bar links. I ended up using the bushing for the um, stock sway bar because the one that the Mega Racing per, uh, brought is too thick for the bracket and the screw or the bolts weren't reaching and I don't have bolts and long enough for it. Um, so it's okay, we could use the stock ones. I also was testing out the durability on both. Um, this is hard um, rubber, but it looks like the one that the stock suspension um, brings is also a hard rubber because they felt pretty much almost the same. It, I don't think it has worn out. So we're gonna test it out with the stock. If it doesn't work, then I'll try to get bigger brackets or longer bolts to install the um, Megan Racing bushing ones. Um, but it's okay. I think it will work perfectly fine with the stock. I don't think there will be any problems with that. I am going to fasten these uh, nuts for the sway bar links and the installation will be complete. It's just like how the um, installation of the front were. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll see you back for the outro. So that concludes this episode with the installation of the Megan Racing rear sway bar. But that most importantly concludes the suspension segment. I'm going to give a quick recap of what we did in this segment. We'll start in the rear. In the rear of the car, we have the Megan Racing uh, sway bar for the rear. We have the Gun 2 camber kit. We have the D2 RS coilovers, and we have the Doorman uh, sway bar uh, links. For the front, we have the Aerogenics ball joint spacer. We have the Aerogenic ball joints. We have the D2 RS coilover, and we have the energy suspension polyurethane bushing for the sway bar. I made a mistake in the beginning of the video. I said that the front sway bars are 28 millimeter. They're actually 27. The rear are 17, but we upgraded to the 19 millimeter and used the, uh, the stiff adapter for the Megan Racing or the stiff adjustment for the Megan Racing uh, rear uh, sway bar. With that being said, we're gonna keep the car raised because we're gonna continue the performance. Uh, 
upgrades on here that should give you a hint of what's next under the car. If you want to see what's next, you could just tune in to my IG or TikTok page at dro underscore ASAP underscore garage. That's ASAP A dot S dot A dot P. Can't stand it with these flies. Can't wait. Jeez Louise. Again, yeah, that's my page there. So if you want to see what's next, you could tune in to that page there. I'm just going to conclude this video with what tools I used. The tools that I use are my impact gun. I use a vice grip. I use a ratchet. I use a close ended 14 and 16 millimeter wrench. I uh, use sockets anywhere from 14 to 16 millimeter. Those are the tools that are you going to use for this project. I use a um, anti seize. I use a lot of PB blaster because that is your friend, and basically a torch if you're working with any car from the northeast uh, conditions because you're going to have rust and you're going to need to heat it up. That's basically what I use. Most of the, most of the sockets were 14 millimeters. Um, everything under the car is mostly 14 millimeter or either a 17. The only reason why I use a 16 millimeter. It's because the um, doorman uh, sway bar links come with the hardware and they're a little bigger than the original 14. So they feel like a 16 um, millimeter. So with that being said, please like, comment, subscribe. Give me some comments down there and subscribe to the channel. I've seen that a lot of the uh, viewers that I've been having uh, lately, I want to thank you for watching my, my, my videos. But please also subscribe. Half of you are not subscribed to the channel. It would help me greatly if you subscribe and continue watching. And give me some comments there. Any feedback would work. So I'm going to call it here. This was your boy Dro. Peace.